This movie reminded me a lot of Jojo Rabbit. Although I guess in Belfast it would be Jojo jo Rabbit. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, the Best Picture nominee that we're talking about is Belfast. <laughs> Belfast is a wee little film about a family struggling to stay in their titular hometown during the violence of the fights between the Protestants and the Catholics. It stars Katrina Balfe, Jamie Dornan, Judi Dench, C.R. Hines, and introducing Jude Hill. So once again... Always with the highs is the cinematography, but not necessarily the lighting this time, although that is a very big part in it. The thing that I really picked up on and loved out of this movie was the shot composition. I am a huge composition person. I love it so much. And in this one, Kenneth Branagh, who directed and wrote this movie, my god, he just used the location to his advantage in every single shot. Every single shot, just about, is composed so interestingly because there's such a limited amount of space because it's on this mostly on this really small street that everybody knows everybody. But the way that the locations are set up and the houses are set up, it's so interesting because there's always a window or, or a, a wall or a divider somewhere where everything that he shoots is either two people you know, on either side of a window, so they seem divided, or like you have um, a character here, and one here, and one in the back here. The way that he used the depth of field and all of these frames within frames was just so cool, and it I don't know all the time what all the shots were supposed to mean. I do want to watch this again and kind of try to figure it out, but really I think it's one of two things. Either it really pushes that divide between people, or it shows that there's always family somewhere else, even if you don't realize that they're there. The story itself is very simple. It, While it is about, a, I don't want to say necessarily a war, but it, it is about the violence, you know, from the Protestants to the Catholics. So there's a lot of, uh, you know, emotional, heavy, tragic stuff in it. But it doesn't really focus on that as much. It actually focuses more on the family during this war. It, it's not necessarily about a war with a family in it. It's about a family during this war. Again, it's not necessarily a war, but it's just easier to call it that. So it really focuses more on the conversations between the family, what's going on with them, what they're having to deal with, whether or not they're going to leave Belfast or stay in this hometown where they know everybody, everybody knows them, and everybody takes care of each other. And honestly, they've grown up here, so they're liked. You know, they, they say if, if they leave Belfast and go somewhere else, they may be hated for a bunch of different reasons. You know, one of which just being that they're made fun of for their accents, which I will say you may want to turn uh, the, the captions on for this one because uh, most of it's fine. But, you know, there's every so often where I was like, I have no idea what they just said because because of the accents. It, it's a little hard, but, you know, if you turn the subtitles on, it's not that bad. But, yeah, so the story really just focuses on the family and their struggles and it makes small things important even if it's not talking about the struggles at the moment it's actually they've got a lot of scenes where the the child is talking to his grandparents and in those scenes m most times they're not even talking about the violence or really anything that has to do with anything it's mostly just this kid talking to his grandparents about his struggles you know just being a kid whether it's trying to fit in with friends about a girl he likes you know, wanting to be the, the top in his class, whatever it is, that's important to him. And so they make the small things really important, which, you know, seems like it would be like, what's the point? Of, but I don't know. I, I liked it. Also, honestly, everybody in, in this cast, and specifically in the main family, were incredible. I loved them. Uh, Katrina Balfe and Jamie Dornan did a great job of having this struggle between one of them wants to get out, one of them wants to stay. They're not sure exactly what to do. The, the dad is always away for work and the mom's always staying to raise the children and they, they just did such a great job I, was, I mean both of them especially Katrina Balfe she has a, a couple different um I don't want to say monologues but a couple different speeches throughout the movie um and she was amazing um I definitely want to see her more um in uh, in other things and uh, I need to watch Outlander specifically and then Judy Dench and C.R. and Hines again they play just these grandparents and they're so wholesome and like for a second, I was like, I don't know, what's the point of their characters? But I think that they were just to show what 
these people would be leaving behind if they had to leave Belfast uh, because they are just these wholesome, simple people. They're the grandparents that are there for their grandchild and, and their children. And I don't know. I just, I love them. They, they were just, you want them to be your grandparents. As for Jude Hill's character, he definitely is a lot less active than say Jojo from Jojo Rabbit. He, uh, things more so happen to him and he sort of reacts, and there are a lot of scenes where I'm like, oh man, that's, like, really sad, you know, or, like, he, he's doing a really great job at reacting, and, you know, having these moments where he doesn't know what to do, but, um, for the most part, he, he's not really that active, it's more so just him going through regular life, especially life as, like, a very small child, I think he, I think he's supposed to be, like, nine, I want to say, yeah, he's a lot less active, so he's a little bit less interesting than I would say maybe Jojo from Jojo Rabbit, but, um, I still really liked him and his character. In terms of lows, it can feel like, what's the point of this movie? Because it it is an autobiographical or semi-autobiographical uh, story from Kenneth Brunel. So these are kind of uh, his memories from growing up. And while that's great, it's there's always something that uh, screenwriters say to new screenwriters is, you know, there's, there's always the write what you know, but it's like not everything that you do is gonna translate to an audience like it may be important to you but it may not be important to others that's not necessarily the case in this but it feels like it touches on that a little bit because you know while i liked it and i i found the simplicity actually very nice and i would watch it again a lot of people are gonna be like what was the point because it feels like all the stuff that you would go into more kenneth brownell doesn't you know, especially like the violence and everything. And once again, it, it's not necessarily that you have to go into the violence more because it is more about the family, but it, it just feels like everything was sort of surface for the most part. There, there's not any one thing I think that like goes so in depth with this or that. It's kind of just like event after event and they sort of loosely connect. And again, that's a very slice of life movie trope to have. And you guys know that I struggle with that. So it's kind of weird that I actually really liked this one. Um, but there was something just, I think, about it that, um, for most people, it's going to feel like, you know, I don't understand exactly what we needed to get out of this. I mean, at the end, you know, it, it's dedicated to the people who stayed, the people who left, the, the, those who are lost. Uh, but it just kind of feels like maybe if this was sort of supposed to be like the Schindler's List of Belfast, Belfast was a much more surface level, if that makes sense. The other more uh, specific low, it's not necessarily a low, but it just kind of takes you out of the movie, is the soundtrack. I didn't quite understand it. I didn't think it was horrible by any means, but um, my mom did. <laughs> it's basically a Van Morrison CD. And while that works in some parts, sometimes it just kind of takes away from the tension. You know, and, and I think that's part of where that other low is coming in, is that even parts where it was like, we're getting into something really suspenseful now. It just kind of was diffused a little bit by this happy music or this kind of more upbeat music. And that, that's not necessarily every scene. And for a lot of the scenes, it does work because it kind of gives this sort of carefree feeling to it. But a lot of times it does take you out. And, and I don't know, it just didn't quite make sense to me to have Van Morrison do all the music for this. It just, it seemed a little out of place place. So overall, Belfast is a very simple, kind of wholesome, lovely little film. Uh, I'm not going to say that it, it is revolutionary by any means, uh, but it is just another film that shows the struggles of this small town family in the midst of something bigger. It's not like a gigantic war, but it is violence. Um, it really shows how it affects them, and I don't know, I just loved the small street aspect of it, and everybody knew everybody, and everybody was tight, the family was tight, they were so, so much fun, and they loved each other so much, uh, but again, it, it does have this kind of, what, what was the point besides Kenneth Branagh wanting to express some of his childhood memories, not that it was totally a waste or anything, you know, by any means, it's not one of those that's like, I don't even get it, this was important to you, and it's not to me, like, I definitely get there's something there, it just felt like he could have gone in depth a little bit more, but it, it is still a very lovely film, I would definitely watch it again, because, I don't know, there was, there was something about it that's just, it's just kind of nice, even in the midst of all the violence. I'm gonna give Belfast a 3.5 out of 4. 
Guys, let me know what you thought of Belfast. Let me know, once again, if you think it deserves Best Picture and all the other awards that it's nominated for. And look out for my live Oscar predictions tonight, because we are here. We are at the Oscars. Let's let's do it. Hopefully it's hopefully it's better than last year. And as always, keep your hopes high, your stress low, and movies right in the middle. I'll see you guys later.